Hey guys, so today I wanted to make a video on some recent Target bin finds I got. Now, if you may know, I've been going to Targets recently, but I really haven't found anything besides a, a J3 Orbit that I drop test in my last video. But I went to a different Target, a Target that I've always gotten rather good finds at. So finally, I found some more stuff. Now, I went to this bin twice because I left some stuff before. I grabbed these out the first time, and then I went back and got this. Um, I still left some more in that bin. There's like an iPhone 4 that's cracked left in there, and I think some other stuff. Um, so I'll have to go back at some point again, but I'm probably going to wait until it fills up again, because like I said, that target's actually rather good, and there's a large chance if I go back later on, there will be more stuff in that bin. So yeah, let's just get into my finds. So starting off, this is an iPhone 4S in white. It is a 16 gigabyte on AT&T. When I found this, it had no passcode, no iCloud account or anything, so it is indeed FMI off. And um, it was set up when I got it, but it had literally nothing on it. It was like somebody reset it and then set it back up. Um, I think the only thing it had on it was, I think it was like web browser history or something, but I don't know. It had no iCloud and I can just show, yeah, it still has no iCloud. I don't sign into my iCloud on anything older than an iPhone 5 just because I'm not going to even try to use it. Um, I have like three other of these phones that just sit in a drawer, so this one's going to be the same thing. Um, it's I'm not going to smash it because it's in really nice condition, and it is indeed FMI off. But like I said, it's a 16 gigabyte, and it's actually running iOS 7.0.4, so that's nice. I actually have another one of these running that, but it's a Sprint model, and this one's AT&T. I haven't tried to unlock it just because, frankly, I don't really care. <laughs> but yeah, this phone works perfectly fine. Um, I haven't been able to test the battery yet. I'm assuming it's okay, but I don't really know. I'm not going to use it, but because of the cool, um, slide of power off thing, which is due to it being on iOS 7.0.4, so that's kind of cool. And moving on, this is a Moto X. Um, like I said, I found this phone the first time. It is a black model, a 16 gig, runs Android 5.1. It's a pretty decent phone. At the time, it was really good. Um, I think it has like a Snapdragon S4. Let me see if I can actually see what the battery's at. No, 2%. Got it. <laughs> but yeah, when I found this thing, um, it had a passcode on it. Um, but I just typed it in 10 times wrong and it reset the phone. So, And since these phones came out on Android 4, they don't get Google locked. But the only... Um, issue with this phone you could say is it is missing a piece of plastic there and it is cracked in other places but that happens because these backs are like this really thin like carbon fiber stuff it's not carbon fiber it's just like a skin but they like they get all screwy really easily and they start to crack and just peel off you may know i have another one of these phones in mint green let me see if i can oh yep there it is yeah i have another one in mint green i've had this thing for a while now but yeah, this one is a black one, obviously, Verizon, just like my other one. And yeah, I'm just glad to have another one. I've wanted a black one that's in good condition. I had one that was shattered, but I um I think I just smashed it because it wasn't worth keeping. But yeah, this one works perfect. And moving on, this is arguably the best find if it didn't have this issue. Um, this is an LG Stylo 5. It's um factory unlocked to all carriers, so that's really cool. Um it's this like bluish grayish black color it's actually really nice in person but the only issue with this phone is it is slightly cracked there is one hairline crack up there i don't know if you can even see it yeah you really can't see it now try to focus the camera on it yep just a little one up there and another little one right there but they barely even go on the screen um there's actually another one of these in the bin when i found it and but it had the screen ripped off of it so i just didn't even bother grabbing it because it didn't have a screen there was no point in getting it but yeah this phone works perfectly fine like i said it's unlocked to all carriers um it actually runs android 10 it's a 32 gigabyte it's a pretty much just a um updated lg stylo 4 with a slightly different design and a um like the ability to run android 10 same processor too snapdragon 450 um, I might be able to see the battery health. I don't know if it shows on this phone. 96%, so that's actually pretty good. I don't think this phone was used for that long of a time. 
But yeah, like I said, 32 gigabyte, and it has a pen. Still has a pen, luckily. A lot of these seem like people lose the pen somehow. I don't really know how. But yeah, it works perfectly fine. I've been wanting one of these phones for a while, especially one as nice as this unlocked Android 10, because some of the carrier ones get locked to 9. And when I found it, it was on Android 9. And also when I found it, um, this was re reset. It had just been freshly reset along with the G5. So I believe these were owned by the same people or something like that. But yeah, I'm just glad to have it. As you may know, I have a Stylo 4 and I've just wanted a newer Stylo. So yeah. Moving on to the best find. This is a LG Stylo, or not Stylo, this is an LG G5. This phone is in absolutely mint condition. Besides that little nick right there. But going around the sides, as you can see, basically no damage to it at all. It still had the IMEI sticker on the back when I found it. There's still sticker residue from that. But this phone works perfectly fine. And I think it might have an issue with the baseband. I could be wrong. The only reason I think this is because the device unlock app doesn't work. It just says, like, an error occurred. Please restart your phone. But besides that, it works perfectly fine. And this one's actually still running Android 7. I tried to update it, it just wouldn't let me for some reason, it just had no new updates available. But yeah, Android 7, it's a 32 gigabyte, um, Snapdragon 820, it was like a Galaxy S7 competitor at the time, and these are actually really nice phones. As you may know, I used to have one as a main phone, and I actually have that one right here. Um, I used to love these phones, they're okay today. Finding one that target bin's really nice, because they're kind of... I don't want to say they're rare, but they're less common, especially to find in a phone bin. But yeah, that's really nice to find it. And this one's also on T-Mobile, but I, like I said, I'm not able to unlock it. But yeah, and I actually have one of the little um, camera modules for these phones that came with, like you could buy separately because they have their the modular bottom. Once it shuts off, I can show you. Yeah, you can just pull off the battery and then I think you just pull it from, yeah, you just pull it off like that, and you can swap a new module onto it, and yeah. So, popping the battery back in, and that's it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little Target Pin video. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe, and um, look out for more Target Pin videos in the future, because I am hopefully going to start going to more Targets, especially now that I have my car. <laughs> but, yeah, so, I guess that's it, and I'll see you guys next time.